Hello. Okay, a little bit of a different video today. We're looking at kit maintenance. This is a vi something I was doing anyway. And I asked the guys on the team if they'd like me to film to show them how I do it. Um, and they said yes, so I thought it could go out as a public video. Now, one of the common problems we get with historic kit is you get this freeing down seams. Now, this is a kirtle I um, have worn for years. Um, going to an event, we're going over to IMCF in a couple of days, and as you can see, it's it's it needs some maintenance doing. So, what you do, this is the right side of the fabric, by the way. What you do is you get. I'm using a chalk pencil, um, purely because they come off <laughs> fabric fairly easy, and it just means I can give myself some guidelines. You mightn't be able to see it particularly well on camera. But all I've done is I've drawn a line down here, down here, leading back to the bottom of the section I'm repairing, and then a one down this side. And the line should be on good quality fabric, the fabric that hasn't been damaged. Okay. And then all you do is you try, it's a really awkward place this one because it's on a, um, it's like under the arm on one of the the panels what you do is you take you try if you can it's not always possible but try to tuck in the frayed bits some people like to cut them off I don't I think it just leads to things fraying again <laughs> um but yeah you, you you push it together as best you can then you take a needle and I always use a double double thread and a thread to start the repair now Normally, you would use a thread that matches your fabric. In this case, though, I am using a black thread so that you can actually see it on camera. Hopefully, if I do this well enough, you won't be able to see it when I'm finished. Uh -huh. Right. Now, this, let's say, there are many ways of repairing fabrics. This is my favourite. Um, you might know an easier method. Who knows? Right. What we do is we start at the clean piece of fabric here. Yeah? And basically what we're doing is we're going to create a ladder. Now to do that, we basically come in and up. You'll see what I mean by a ladder in a moment. Now, we don't pull this all the way through. You need a tail left, yeah? So, small tail, but a tail. So I'm going to just leave that there. Then what I do is I come across to the other side of the fabric and I do the same thing I run my needle in and up that line that I drew as a guide and I keep doing that down both the lines okay and you see what I mean by by a ladder yeah because the more we go we work along these guidelines like this just making sure our needle follows along them. You get this sort of weird ladder effect happening on the fabric. Yep. Bear with us, it'll all come into place. You'll see. You'll just just trust us, yeah? <laughs> trust my madness. This will all become all will be revealed very shortly. Sometimes if you have to walk work around a seam, you have to be a little bit creative with it. And right there. So technically that one actually wants to go there. <laughs> Straight back across, down. You see what I mean? Nice parallel, like ladder bars, yeah? Like when the cartoon stitch people up. I'm just going to keep going down. No, I've lost my cut. There it is. Then down. Keeping those nice and parallel along. 
So you have them going directly horizontally between your two sort of vertical guidelines, if you like. Sometimes you just need to press it flat like that just to check you're keeping them straight across. If they're slightly off, it's fine. It's not going to cause any major disasters. It just won't be quite as neat than, than if, say, that one's slightly off. But I don't envisage it causing me any major headaches. I know what you're thinking, you're all looking at this going, Lily, this looks atrocious, you've got massive black things on top of your dress and it's not neat and tidy, but you know, have faith, just... <laughs> Oop, that one's gone a bit squiffy as well. Never mind. Working around a camera doesn't help, so you know... <laughs> Nothing I ever do when I do this is ever that neat because I'm always working around this. Not when I'm filming it anyway. Okay, we're nearly, nearly at the bottom of our repair section. Just checking I'm not stitching the layers of the dress to each other because <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> and we are there now what we do so as you can see we have these stitches going over the whole length of the repair is you get this tail that i said to leave at the beginning and you get the tail at the top and you just pull them like that and as if by magic you have a nice neat invisible seam now you can see where some have gone slightly wonky you've got slight little bumps in it and that just needs to pull tight there and that is how you do a very quick but very easy hidden repair on a seam now all you need to do is pop the thread through into the inside of the fabric and secure it just tie it in a, in a little stitch knot and you're done just go around doing all your repairs in the same way